Hi, I'm Les Meadowcroft with Betovation. Thank you for investing into the SmartScope system that enables you to better examine an ear or nose or other areas of your pets. The, a standard otoscope has a working channel and magnifies the image times 30. It attaches to an iPhone or iPod Touch and has a 9 watt LED light that provides illumination into your field. Once your system arrives, you'll find a user guide that provides some frequently asked questions as well as tips for using the light and manipulating the app. Inside the kit, you'll find a charging base that your LED light will be able to charge on. You have a reusable lithium battery inside the light. You'll also receive a scope that has a working channel a bifurcating adapter that hooks up to the top of your scope so that you can introduce saline from an IV bag or a standard lure lock. And then you'll also be able to introduce a series of flexible graspers that can be used to remove hair and debris out of the ear, remove a polyp in the nose or ear, as well as um, clear up excessive wax. In addition to the grasper, you also receive a flexible brush that can go down that channel to be able to um, free up hair, take cytology, and remove debris that's accumulated in the ethmoid bulla if you've got a ruptured tympanic membrane. Once you've downloaded the EI Pro app from the App Store, to press the app, you'll have a user agreement just to press that and that will take you to the home screen of your app. To get into the app, slide the camera across the screen and that takes you inside your app. The next thing you'll want to do is target alignment of your scope to your camera. So turn your light source on and then you'll focus in on your hand or a ring finger depressing that blue eye in the lower left hand corner of the screen brings up your target alignment. So now you can move this blue eye around the screen and you want it to overlap with the eye or the, what the scope is looking at. If you pull the red right angle that can make that image larger or smaller than your screen. Okay, So really it's best to have it overlap with what your scope is looking at and then once again hit the red eye in the lower left hand corner to bring your image back up. The other two um, controls that are important to you, this slider at the bottom of the screen controls light intensity, um, and you'll need to adjust that as you go into a darker ear, pulling it light up or down, and then the slider on the vertical side takes you into or out of focus. So get a nice crisp clear image prior to going into a case. While you're inside the ear, and doing an exam, you can easily take pictures with the camera at the lower right hand corner of the screen. As you tap the camera, you'll see a red camera come up at the top of the screen and you'll see that uh, camera turn red. If you want to take video, the blue circle at the bottom of the screen, tap it once and it will turn red and now you're recording video. If you tap and hold it, you'll get a microphone that comes up on the bottom of the screen. So now you're dictating while recording images. If you want to go back and be able to send those images to a client, simply slide the camera across the screen. That will take you to your home screen. Depress the film at the bottom of the screen and that will take you into images that we had just captured. To be able to select those images you want to tap select at the upper right hand corner of the screen and then highlight the images that you might want to email off. Once you've highlighted them, depress the blue box at the bottom of the screen with the up arrow and then it will bring up a variety of options for you to be able to send those. You can airdrop them to another um, type of device. You can email them and that brings up your email system and the device uh, or the um, videos as well as pictures can be easily emailed off to a client. A couple of troubleshooting tips as you go into an ear obviously you're putting a cold scope into a warm ear and you'll find that the scope 
pretty frequently fogs up. If you use your bifurcating adapter that screws onto the top of there and attach it to a standard IV bag with a lure lock, you'll now be able to run fluids into the scope and you'll also be able to use your grasper down the other channel and into the scope to be able to pull things out. That's an easy way to use saline to clear the field of view and your grasper to grasp and remove contents. The system has been designed to be able to use with a variety of different scopes. So if you are, your practice already has other scopes, you can simply take the adapter off, the light cord off, or light source off as well. And if you have another scope, these adapters are all standard amongst the major manufacturers with this kind of a coupler. And then you can now put other scopes into and use them with this. So if, if for example, and this is a Vetovation 2.4 millimeter scope that's 30 degrees, it has an outside working channel that you can hook up saline to and be able to go up into a cat's nose and do rhinoscopy while uh, delivering a little bit of saline to keep that field of view clean and clear. Thank you again for ordering the Vetovation Smart Scope system. Please feel free to contact us directly at 919-247-0328 if you have additional questions or if there's anything that we can help to support you with in learning how to use this system. Thank you.